So welcome to today's yoga session. Um, uh, the theme for today's session is shapes. So um, yeah, lots of the postures and things we're going to be doing um, are putting our body into different shapes. So we're going to start by just kind of appreciating how wonderful your body is, what it does, how it can move, um, and realize also there are limits as to what we can do. And yoga always, we need to make sure uh, you acknowledge what the limits are and, and don't overextend or overstretch or do anything um, that hurts but also there may be some things that feel a bit challenging that you could perhaps practice um, and work on and improve so yeah really good to get into that mindset just as we sit up nice and tall um, or kneel and think about how you feel today within your body so if you want to close your eyes or softly gaze in front of you rest the arms on the knees hands on the knees shoulders over hips crown of the head reaches up nice and tall and we're just going to start with some breathing so nice smooth inhalation and exhalation through the nose if possible but you can breathe in and out through the mouth and just think about your own body how it feels before we start to move okay let's start with some circles so Think about a circle in your belly. Um, it might be kind of quite low down. As you breathe in, that circle or oval even expands. And then as you breathe out, it contracts. So this is quite a nice imagery to have in your mind as you breathe. This circle expanding, filling your abdomen and then gradually receding, contracting as you breathe out, pull in the tummy. Really breathe in to swell that shape and breathe out for it to recede and sm get smaller. One last big breath, the biggest breath you've taken all day. And then relax as you breathe out. Okay, we're next going to move our nose, so small circles with the nose. This will start to warm up your neck. One direction and then the other, maybe getting larger with those circles. Feeling out any areas of tension through the neck, relaxing the jaw. And then we're going to roll all our shoulders, so some circles with the shoulders forwards, up and back first. And then backwards, up and forwards, circle the other way. Arms, your palms might just be moving on your knees as you do this. And we're then going to try and draw some circles with your torso, so just imagine you're drawing a circle above you in the sky with your head okay and that can start quite small in one way and then the other way and then maybe get that circle a bit larger so this should start to warm up your hips through the neck shoulders and now it's the whole torso moving in a circle warming up the sides of your body into your hips lovely one way and the other and back to center next come up onto all fours in a tabletop position so thinking about alignment here placing wrists under shoulders and knees under hips and we're just going to make some circles here as well. So you're coming forwards round to the left and then to the right and back. 
and you can bring the breath in. So inhale as you come forward, lift the chest. Exhale as you go round to the right and lower the chin towards the chest. So this is a circular cat cow, moving with your breath. So it's warming up the arms. Inhale one way, exhale, and then change direction. So inhaling right, forwards, look up. Exhale, left, back, chin to chest. Twice more in this direction with your breath. And then just come back to that central stacked position and just try to isolate your rib cage with a small circle. So this might feel a little bit unusual, We're trying to isolate some movements in our torso, quite strange. Good to move the body in slightly different ways. Okay, um, next we've got to just make sure again that wrists are under hips and uh, under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're going to do a flowing position. So this is very much a square. And you, if you are able to, you might just want to look to check um, that you're really kind of right angle 90 degrees shapes. We're going to make some more 90 degree shapes. So this pose is called tiger and it's got some movement within it so we're going to inhale and as you exhale you're going to lift your left foot up as you bend that knee so we're keeping a nice right degree uh, 90 degree angle the left heel pushes up so we've really got some nice square kind of shapes we're then going to inhale next and bring the right elbow up by the left right ear and then exhale bring elbow to knee as you crunch inhale kick up reach forward exhale no to knee once more inhaling to reach and kick heel up exhale to breathe out crunch inhale reaching up one last time and then we're going to stay here and try to reach back with our right hand towards our left heel so you're pressing into your left hand thinking steady connecting the floor and trying to keep these angles in our knees lifting through the right side of the chest and lifting the gaze breathe um, exhale to lower just come back on the heels tuck the toes rotate the wrists and we'll repeat tiger pose on the other side so stacking up in our square tabletop position fingertips like starfish breathe in to press into the floor breathe out to lift the right heel up knee at a 90 de degree angle breathe in left arm comes forward and we'll just check your alignment here really think steady and strong keep breathing And then on your next exhale, you're gonna bring elbow to knee underneath you, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, kick up through the heel at the back. Exhale, crunch. Once more, really strengthening and relaxing if you can. Inhale, one more, reaching out, kicking up and then exhale bring the left hand back to grab your right ankle or foot you could just hold your clothing if that's easier for you trying to grab onto anything you can pressing into the right hand the left knee this is a balance as well and lift the left 
chest up and out to the side as you breathe in and hold, maybe wobble and relax. Knees come back together, hand come back together and we'll just sit back on our heels, bring the forehead to the mat in child's pose and if you'd like bring the palms together and place the palms above the back of your neck like a little shark fin to relax the upper body stretch and kind of release any tension in the hands. So quite a lot of yoga involves pressing into the floor with the hands and our, as our next posture will as well. So be careful. If you have weaker wrists, you can do this next pose with elbows on the floor. You're just gonna bring, so elbows, if that's for you, or wrists. And we've got to come up to a plank position to make a nice straight line. So it's not really a shape, it's a line. Extend one foot back, toes to the floor, the other foot back, press into the palms and make a plank. If you'd like to rock a little forwards and back on your toes, you can stay on the knees, but you're still trying to make a nice straight line from your knees to your head or your heels to your head. Press into the palms. Breathe. Saying in plank for three, two, one, and then lift the hips up. Press into the palms. Maybe walk the feet a little forward, finding downward facing dog. So this posture, you're aiming to make a triangle. Okay, so between your hands, shoulder width apart, spreading the fingers wide, spreading the weight. Heels can be lifted. You're trying to continue to breathe deeply as the blood flows different directions in your body with your head lower than your heart. And then slowly, gradually walk your feet towards your hands. You might come up onto the fingertips or knuckles, walking towards the front in our ragdoll position. So bending forward from the hips, relaxing the arms, the weight of the arms and the weight of the head, bringing your torso closer to your thighs. And we're just gonna do some small circles here. So just like we did with our torso seating, we're now gonna try to circle the hips so this will mean spreading the weight around the side forward side and back uh, so it's kind of like strange hula hoop movements one direction and then the other and you'll feel the muscles in the back of your legs side of your legs and probably Cross your arms. So just making some small circles and then gradually getting bigger. Arms, hips moving one way and then the other. Often with lots of these things, finding what feels good. On your next inhale, press into the feet, bend the knees and slowly come up to standing. the shoulders over the hips, hips over the knees, crown of the head reaching up and the shoulder blades come down. Okay, you can stay facing the direction you were but I'm just turning to show you our next shape. Uh, it's a star. So we're bringing our feet wider than hip width apart with the toes pointing outward slightly. 
we're going to just relax the arms down as you exhale and then inhale bring the arms up so the five points are feet hands and head breathe lower the shoulders think up nice and tall filling up space lifting the corners of your mouth smiling thinking you're a beautiful star and then as you breathe out hands come to the waist you're just going to bend forward so you might bring your heels behind your toes as we come down to a forward fold position so gradually your torso is coming down we're maybe softly bending the knees keeping the hands on the hips this is wide-legged forward fold to keep the breath coming in and out and then we're going to flow between this pose and star with our breath so it's quite strong make sure you're firm in the legs and it's just going to be the arms that move so as you breathe in torso comes up arms come out to the sides and up as you breathe out arms come down to the sides as you bend forward wide legged forward fold inhaling press into the feet lift the arms big stretch star exhaling bring the arms into the hips lower the chest once more big star press into the legs and exhale, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, come up, leave the hands on the hips. And then your choice, you can either jump the feet together or heel toe, heel toe, or jump. That should feel quite nice. Okay, uh, we're just going to do some uh, slightly asymmetrical shapes next in our shapes practice. So I'm gonna put all of the weight into my right leg. I'm gonna just bring my left toes out to the side so they're just touching the floor and my right arm comes out to the side, as does my left arm, sorry, both arms out to the side parallel. I think you're spreading your energy out sidewards through the fingertips. So, the arms will start to tire, but keep, try to keep them strong, and if you need to, just bring them down, that's fine. We're going to inhale, right arm goes up, exhale, I'm going to bring my elbow to knee. Inhale, out, exhale, in. Now, your choice, you can touch the toes to the floor in between, breathe out, or hover that leg, breathing in, breathing out. Once more, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and lowering, arms down, legs come back together. Feel the difference, both sides of the body. So strong in the legs, strong in the arms. Let's place all the weight into the left leg next. So the right toes point out to the side. Inhale as both arms, arms come up. Let's settle this position. Think nice and strong. And then you're going to inhale. The left arm goes up. Exhale, left elbow to right knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So you choose whether your toes touch the floor in between or you stay with this balance on your left leg. Last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, and place. Well done, excellent. And shake out the hands if you want to shake out the legs. Another standing pose, are you ready? So this one is feet hip width apart. Heels under knees into hips. Nice alignment with your posture. It's called um, swaying palm tree. 
but it's kind of hot. I think it's kind of like a crescent moon as well. So we're going to breathe out to prepare. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, lean over to the left. Your left hand goes down the left side. Inhale, stay where you are, but maybe just lift your right chest up towards the sky. Exhale, maybe lengthen, pushing your right hip out. Half moon crescent. Inhale, up to the middle. Exhale, relax down. Take a breath here in the centre and just feel that stretch along your right side. More next, repeat on the other side. So, inhaling, left arm goes up, relax the shoulder. Exhale, extend and stretch over towards your right. Inhale, lift through the left side, stretching the left chest up. Exhale, right hand comes lower, inhaling up to the centre, exhaling, lowering. And we'll try that one more time, this time both hands come up, interlace the fingers, press them up to the sky, exhale, bend over to the left with your hip, as you, sorry, bend to the right, your left hip goes out, inhale to the middle, exhale, bending over to the left, right once more each side press through the fingertips exhale relax your shoulders just your side body working and exhaling once more the other side inhale exhale relax the arms all the way down feel the blood rushing back into your forearms and fingers great shake out both legs strong okay our next few poses um, are facing forward so you're going to walk back so you've got some space in front of you I'm just moving my mat a little bit so we're going to make some more triangle shapes um, in two postures called pyramid and revolved triangle so pyramid pose we're going to just turn our right toes out to like two o'clock and then step our left foot forward so it's kind of two steps in front of you again both feet feel like they're on train tracks and our hips are facing forwards not around to the side like that we're still facing this way so get your legs in what feels like a comfortable position with pyramid the options with your arms and I will turn around to show you you can grab your elbows behind you like that or if you've got lots of flexibility in your arms you can put your hands in prayer position in the middle of your back so just experiment find a hand position that suits you breathing out inhale lift the chest lift the gaze and then exhale, fold forward from the hips, bringing your torso down towards your straight left leg. Breathe in this position. If you want to keep a softer bend in that left leg, that's fine. This is quite strong. Keep the head and shoulders lifting, flat back, strong stretch across the shoulders. Breathe. And then on your next exhale, relax the right hand down towards the floor and the left hand can go up. Okay, you can keep the left hand on the hip behind you or you can lift it. So this is called revolved pyramid or revolved triangle. Breathe. Try and think about the shapes you're making. It's hard. Exhale, relax back to the front with both arms. And then inhale, slowly press into the feet to come back up and step the feet back together. And we'll try all that on the other leg. So left toes 
out to 10 o'clock. Step forward with the right leg. Hips come forward and we prepare our arms. You could choose a different variation, that's fine this time. Inhale to lift the chest and lengthen. Exhale to bend forward from the hips. Try to keep a flat back as your torso comes down over your right leg. So keep pressing into both feet. Imagine a long spine, long neck. Keep a soft bend in that right knee if you need to. And keep the breath steady as you're gazing at the floor, gazing at your foot. On your next out breath, release the left hand down towards the floor. You might touch fingertips or palm. And then inhale to look over your right shoulder. So the right arm can come up straight. This is revolved triangle or revolved pyramid. Trying to aim for these straight shapes with your body. Breathe. And exhale to lower the right arm. Inhale to press into the right foot. Lift the torso slowly back up. And then press the right leg back. Feet together, breathe. Okay, last bit of challenging standing poses. So if your legs are a bit stretchy and a bit achy, this is the last bit of harder things. So this is the hardest part of the lesson. You can do it. We're gonna do extended triangle and half moon. So it's similar to the triangles we did before but our feet are in a slightly different position, more on tram lines. So, uh, I'm, I am gonna do left foot stepping forward first. So, right toes come out to two o'clock, maybe somewhere towards three o'clock, between two and three. And you're gonna step a little bit more away from you with your left foot. And we are gonna bring the hips to face front now face the side. Your left heel is pointing towards your right inner arch and we're aiming for both legs to be quite straight and hips to be under shoulders. So this is you know getting your feet right placing um, the stance at the start is quite important and even you know you could be here rather than there does take experimenting. Breathe out, breathe in, lift the arms up parallel to the floor like we've done this class so far. Breathe out, reach forward and then down with your left arm and your right arm comes up like so. So this is rather than the revolved triangle, this is just called triangle pose. If this is too much for your arms, you can lower that top arm. The lower hand isn't really weighting, uh, you know, putting weight into the left leg. It could be just gently resting next to the calf, the ankle, the foot, as we try and lift up through our right and bring the right arm up. So breathe, strong pose. Imagine a flat wall behind you, the right hip pressing back in this. And then to make it trickier, we're going to do a balance. Are you ready? Bend your left knee, place your left hand slightly on the floor, and then come up with your right leg. Now, if your right arm doesn't want to cut, stay up there, it can come to the hip. This is called half moon. So we're balancing on our left leg, stacking up through that body. If you wobble and fall, don't worry, it's fine. You can practice this later. Breathe, 
extend, reach through the foot, and then bend the knee, replace that foot, come all the way back up, relax the arms, relax that leg. Pretty strong. Okay, well done. We're gonna just switch the legs to repeat that on the other side. You can do it. So if you did wanna come bring the legs together, just shake them out and then go back. So this was the 10 o'clock with the left foot, bigger step with the right, hips face the side of the mat, side of the room, shoulders over hips, checking posture, breathing out, breathing in, arms come up, parallel to the floor, stretch through the fingertip, exhale, reach forward and then down with the right arm, as the left arm comes up. So this is a yoga pose that can look a bit awkward. Keep the left arm, the left hand on the left hip if you'd prefer. We're not pushing into the right hand on the right leg, just relaxing that arm down as we try to keep the leg strong. And maybe lift and look up at the right and uh, left hand as the back is nice and flat. The left hip isn't lowering. Keep breathing, holding. Just from holding, there's actually a lot going on in your body. So relax, breathe. Extended triangle. And then on an exhale, bend your right knee. Place your right hand on the floor in front of your right toes. And then if you can, lift up your left leg. Well, I find it harder on one side than the other. I'm wobbling. I'm focusing my gaze. I'm breathing. I'm trying to think nice and straight. Breathing. Focusing, well done. And then bringing that back. Look. Inhaling, coming up, straight arms, straight legs. Exhaling to lower the arms. And bring the feet together towards the front of your mat. And we just, I'm gonna turn to face front and then lift my chest, breathe out, lower my chest down, my hands sliding down the side of my legs for a relaxed forward fold. So very strong, quite tricky poses today. Let's relax. So you can bring the feet slightly wider than hip width apart if that feels more relaxing for you. Toes fits forward and we're just going to do some relaxing moves you might find staying still is more relaxing i think crown of the head down towards the ground soft bend in the knees any stress or tension just rolling off your shoulders as you breathe out breathing in and then breathing out again Bring your feet closer together and we're simply going to try and sit down from this position. So I'm coming down, sit on my heels, hands behind me and sitting down. Lots of shapes. The next shape is an L shape in a pose called Dandasana or seated staff. Place the palms by your sides and press into the palms. It could be fingertips. Obviously, everybody's got a different length, torso and arms. I'm just trying to make a better L shape. So I'm pressing down through my hip thighs, down to the hips, and then pushing up. My toes are pointing up with my toes almost back towards my knees. 
So I feel very strongly imprinting my legs into the floor and then lifting the chest in staff pose, not seated forward fold. Breathe. Doesn't look like much is happening, but it should feel very strong in the legs. And then relax the legs, bring the arms towards you. We're next going to make kind of a cone shape is what I was thinking. I'm bringing the soles of my feet to the floor and bending my knees, holding behind my thighs and then bringing my legs parallel, the shins parallel with the floor. So you can rotate your feet in this position. This is called boat pose. You can kind of see why you're a little boat rocking on the sea. But we want to try and use the abs to hold you in this position. Keep breathing. The option is to let go of the thighs and bring the palms out. So this is kind of triangles, but with some straight lines as well. <laughs> Lift the chest, lift the gaze. And then if you really want to add on, in fact, no, let's feet to the floor, relax, give yourself a cuddle. Come back up into boat. Option one boat, option two boat, or option three boat, straighten the legs. That's kind of more like the cone shape, I think. I don't Breathe, hold wherever you are, and then relax back to the floor. Move your microphone. No, just moving my microphone so I can lie down. So flat back, knees come into the chest. We're just going to do some circles with the knees round to one side back around the other way this is a really good massage for our lower back because we have been doing lots of twists strong leg postures with use of the hips so really you know freestyle circling whatever feels nice in your body in this pose just looking at what's next and then we're just going to bring knees up to the sky with the feet flat to the floor the heels are quite close to the back of the hips and the palms are face down with your arms gently pressing into the floor you're gonna exhale and then inhale to lift the hips up into bridge pose Breathe in and out in this pose, pressing into the shoulder blades, maybe bringing the shoulder blades together under your back. Aim your knees directly forwards, pressing inwards with your inner thigh. Your abdomen should just be rising and falling try and keep a calm shoulders neck jaw relaxed upper body strong lower body one last big breath in and then on your next breath out relax the spine back towards the ground one vertebra at a time really gently relaxing Next, bring the soles of your feet together as your knees go out to the side. So this is called reclined cobbler's pose, Supta Baddha Konasana. So knees that go out to the sides. You can experiment with where your feet are. So your toes can move away from you or back up towards you. So this is a relaxing, restorative pose, but it is a stretch into your hips still and your 
inner thighs. Arms are now relaxing, the palms face up. And we're going to return to thinking about the circles in our abdomen as we breathe in, expanding the circles and breathing out, imagining that circle getting smaller. Think about the weight of your body relaxing into the earth beneath you. Your shoulders are away from your ears. There's no tension in your jaw. You're able to fully relax arms, shoulders, And slowly slide your toes away from each other, away from you. Okay, so your knees gradually becoming less bent as you stretch your legs out in front of you. The weight of the legs can now join in that relaxing feeling. So a slight gap between your heels your toes gently fall out to the sides as you imagine that relaxing feeling flowing down through hips thighs knees calves and shins all the way out to your feet Keep that breath focused on circles, but they may be getting smaller. So coming back to a more natural inhale and exhale. You fully relax. And if you have time, you can pause the video if you're doing this later and stay in this relaxed pose letting all of the stretching, all of the shapes our body has made just kind of soak into the body being and being grateful for how you were able to move today. If there were bits that you couldn't quite get to the right shape, it's okay, don't worry. Breathe, let it go. warm up and have another go, a different day. And if you need to come out of this pose, finishing the practice, we're just going to roll onto our sides. So whichever side's easiest for you, coming into a fetal position, staying nice and relaxed. Try not to break that spell of relaxation. And then straighten the top leg, push into the hand to bring yourself back up to a seated position. And bring the palms together. So thank yourself for all of your hard work today. Um, be grateful for your body, all of the shapes um, that it made, and also appreciating that everybody's got, yeah, everybody's different shapes and sizes. Um, all that should matter is you and how you feel in your body. So keep those things in mind. Thank you for practicing with me today uh, as you go forward. Be mindful how you think, speak, feel, and act. Thank you.